Today we're doing um, Asian. We're doing Asian lettuce wraps. We're going to do um, a sesame ginger coleslaw. Now, and also a garlic aioli for drizzling on top. So what I have here is just cabbage and and uh, carrot that I've shredded. I used my four in one mandolin. Uh, you'll see it in uh, the catalog. It's handy dandy, beautiful cleanup, easy, easy, easy. So it does a beautiful job. You've got four different uh, cutting uh, styles to, to use. Two uh, uh, sizes of julienne and uh, two sizes of just uh, slicing. Okay, so we're gonna start with the multi-purpose steamer, which is this, in our beautiful aubergine color, with the lid, has vents. It also comes with a tray. Today we're not using the tray, but um, if you were using the tray, we make we can make bacon on this. You can do a, a full one-pot meal, so you can put your uh, your veggies on the bottom and then put this on top and then put your protein on top, salmon, chicken, whatever the case may be, pop it into the microwave, boom, done. Awesome. Okay, so here we also have our meat separator. This is a really great tool in the kitchen. Um, won't scratch anything, any of your pots, any of your, you know, nonstick pans. Uh, it's great for using in all the silicone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it up a little bit. My, I've got one pound of lean ground pork in here. So that's it. We're going to use our Asian stir fry. That's our Asian stir fry seasoning. We're going to put how much do I put? Two, two tablespoons. The four, this is the four in one spice spoon. It's currently out of stock, but when it does come in stock, it's your best friend in the kitchen because it's got tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, quarter, all in one. You don't have to dig around for all the different ones. So I'm going to put two fits into our jars beautifully. I'm going to put two tablespoons. And because we're a family that likes lots of garlic, this is our minced garlic. <clears throat> I've put a grinder on top. Uh, it doesn't come with it. It's, it's $10 in the catalog, but it's very handy because this way I can use it as garlic powder or as the actual minced garlic, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna put a little in my, probably a, a teaspoon to add it. So, now I'm just going to mix it up, and then I'm going to pop it into the microwave for literally five minutes. Then we're going to take it out, we're going to check it, we're going to mash it up probably. If there's any little bit of pink left, I'll put it in. If there isn't, then we're good to go. So, mixing it all up with the seasonings. This is how quick it is. Epicure is... They pride themselves on rotted ready in 20 minutes. So that's the beauty, it's healthy. And uh, there we go, Let's put that there. We're gonna put the lid on. You put, it has the words Epicure on the steamer, so you always put the, the vents opposite that. Now I'm just gonna leave you for like one minute so I pop it in the microwave. thinks there's someone here when I greet when I greet people <laughs> oh it happens every time okay so now we're gonna work on the sl Asian slaw and the aioli so what I have here this is our epicure cruet as a little lid 
This is our funnel. And what I have in here is half a cup of uh, oil. I just use vegetable oil. You can use the oil of your choice. I have a third cup of, um, no, sorry, half a cup of rice wine vinegar. So that's what this is. So if you've never used it, it's a lot milder than regular white vinegar. So it's very nice for Asian flavors. So half cup of vinegar, third cup of oil, and three tablespoons of soy sauce into the cruet. Then we're going to take our sesame ginger. This is a, a really good blend. Whenever I make anything Asian, I love to add this in. Same with the Asian stir fry that I just used before. Um, you can make this up. This is a salad dressing, what I'm making here. You can make it creamy by adding like a quarter cup of uh, peanut butter or any nut butter, you know, whatever is, uh, you know, safe for you if you have allergies. But sesame ginger is a really yummy flavor. So we're going to put, we're going to put two tablespoons of that in our cruet. Ordinarily, I would be putting the dry on the bottom, but for the cooking class, I'm adding it in just to show you. So once again, you know, all the, um, I'm going to take out the funnel. Once again, like everything has to reconstitute because it's dehydrated, right? And that goes over here. This is our little lid for our cruet. And the beauty of Epicure dressings is you only make what you need. If you only want to do half of this, I, I made the full recipe simply because I don't just use it for salad dressing. I'll use it for a dipping for when I make my summer Asian rolls. Delicious, really yummy. You can like make it creamy so it, it like, you know, it, it adhere, adheres to your your uh, your food a little more. Um, or you could, add, you could actually even add mayo if you wanted. But so super yummy. Just like that and you make what you what you think you're going to use and it's not going to sit in your fridge and now all of a sudden in a month you're going to say oh my goodness all these are expired and i've wasted my money so this anything oil and vinegar i've kept easily for 10 days or more um so yummy and you only make what you need so there Okay, so as I said, we've got our slaw. We, I just did quickly sliced up some carrot and some cabbage. I'm just going to eyeball how much I put in there. You can add, um, you can add extra garlic. You can add, I'm just going to put, uh, I probably put about half. You put what you like. You can add garlic, you can add pepper, you can add uh, sesame seeds, green onion, any other veggies you enjoy. Um, this is the Epicure tongs. All the Epicure tools have a metal uh, base and then covered with the silicone, so very sturdy. So I'm going to just mix up our, our slaw. You know, get back in there. You can add salt to this. Now, never be afraid. Like, taste it first, but you're going to see. You might want a little salt because, really, it's so low salt that any any salt that you're going to add to any Epicure uh, uh, recipe is never going to be as much as what you would get when you were, you know, buy the jars and and bottles of, of store-bought, never going to be as, as much salt. Same with sugar. So that's beautiful. That's really nice. Already smells delicious. My, my meat is ready. But before I go get it, I'm going to mix up my aioli. So I'm, it, the recipe calls for one cup. I did half cup. Now these are our prep bowls. And the beauty of these little guys they come four to a box. They have measurements on, on the sides. So you've got quarter cup, half cup, three quarter cup, and then completely full is one cup. 
They right. all come with a little silicone lid. These are my best friend too. I have two sets of them. I probably would go and buy another one soon because I, I have them. I used them so much that the last cooking class, I actually didn't even have one to use because they were all in use in the fridge. So I really love these. So I've got half a cup of, uh, this is the half fat uh, mayo. The reason why I use the half fat is because, especially, especially when I'm doing a hot dip, there's no separation, you know, with the het, really full fat mayonnaise, it's, it separates, it's not, it's not pleasant whatsoever. So, where is my little, oh, roasted garlic. So we're going to do the little roasted garlic aioli. If you want to do like a little spicy one, we have the chipotle. You can add some chipotle into it. Um, this comes with a shaker lid. So this can also be used as a garlic powder, the roasted garlic aioli. So. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to put a quarter, a quarter teaspoon because my tummy is not happy these days and I just don't want to overtax it. So I'm going to do that. But you put as much as you want. Trust me, it's delicious. Make it, make it the first time. I always say, whatever recipe you're doing, make it the first time as it says on the jar and then you adjust from there. You put more, you put less. Over here, I've just got a little piece of lemon because you really just want just a little, a little bit, a little bit of lemon in there. There we go. Throw that over there. And my little whisk. I'm going to whisk it up. Man, oh man, that minced pork smells good. I've got some lettuce. Some Boston lettuce all cleaned up and ready to go to show you. It's going to be yummy. All right. So that's our aioli. Let's move things out of the way and bring out the star of the show. sit down because just in case I have to put it back in but I want you to always bend away from you as you can see oh it looks good Gracie girl I'm gonna taste it to see if I think I need some salt Separator. This is great for mashing anything. Potatoes, whatever you want to mash. Pumpkin, you know, when you're doing a pumpkin pie, you can give it a good um, mix. Carrots, when they're cooked. Now the other uses for the multi-purpose steamer is endless. You can cook in your veggies. I did um, my potatoes for a potato, creamy potato salad the other day. Ten minutes, they were done. No water. Don't ever don't add water because it cooks it and keeps in all its natural juices. That is gorgeous. Very nice. I'm going to get a little spoon and yep. test it. Test it for salt. Beautiful cooked five minutes, guys. Yeah, I want a little bit of salt. You can also add a little soy sauce if you if you like. There we go, just a little bit. All right, so there we go. Alright, set 
that over to the side. Bring over my bring over my lettuce. <laughs> if anybody has any questions, please don't be shy. I am always happy to answer questions. I love the interaction. So go ahead and ask away. You got questions about what I've posted on the event? Anything. Okay, so they they say the best thing to do is always do a double wrap. So we've got two pieces of, of uh, Boston lettuce. So I'm going to put it this way, you know. You can use romaine, you can use, you know, whatever one you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of, these are not the, these are messy. Like anything taco, lettuce wrap, you name it, they're messy. Let's face it. But who cares? It's delicious. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of the meat. I'm going to put a little bit of the slaw. You can add some cilantro to this. That would be delicious too, if you like cilantro or parsley. All right, and then we've got our aioli. I'm just going to let it There you have it. A beautiful lettuce wrap. So I'm not going to bite into it right now because then I'll be chomping and not able to talk. <laughs> okay, so you saw how easy that was. Five minutes in the microwave. Um, use whatever protein. If you want it uh, vegan, use some lentils uh, or tofu crumbles. Um, you can do with chicken, beef, pork, you can even, you can even do shrimp. Um, actually, I'm going to get my little cookbook here. We have a cute little cookbook in the catalog. That is called Rotter Ready in 20. And there's the picture of their lettuce wraps. I wish I would have had some red cabbage because it's gorgeous. I love food that looks pretty, you know? So, um, for this one, we did the uh, lean ground pork, but ground chicken, like I said. Um, you can do a nacho wrap. So, it would be like some ground beef. Uh, we, ha we have a nacho cheese dip mix. But also the queso, think about that, yummy. Um, with some romaine lettuce, some tomatoes, some red onion, and then top it with some guacamole. That would be fabulous. Uh, don't forget, you know, if you want, you can, you, you just make up some uh, rice, some quinoa. All those things cook beautifully in the multi-purpose steamer. It doesn't heat up your kitchen when it's hot, and it's fast, and it keeps all the nutrients in. You can do a shrimp cob uh, lettuce wrap, so you'd cook some, you know, shrimp, you'd make some guacamole, use some iceberg lettuce, cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, and then do the creamy ranch dip and just drizzle all that on top. That would be gorgeous too. You know, in a poke bowl, what you have leftovers, we always say cook once, eat twice. Make some rice, add, you know, some of your, your protein, do some of your coleslaw, some fresh cucumber, beautiful, drizzle it, drizzle it with your salad dressing or just with your aioli. I love leftovers for that reason, always. Um, so, are there any